How about we all work together against Autumn Wolf? And that's my question. How about we stop this whole thing? One of the first things you do is stop being afraid of Adam Wolf. It's a handful of fucking idiots that are dangerous, but they're not an organized group. And it's not, you can't organize against Adam Wolf. And because it's some asshole, and this, the whole structure of it is it's some asshole in his basement who's not telling anybody what he's going to do. And then he goes and does it. So the way you combat it is you have conversations with people who are confused as to what fascism really is. And you try to school people and you live stream on it and you tell people the real history of socialism and fascism. Because you got people like Dinesh D'Souza and Dave Rubin and Steven Crowder out there talking about Hitler was a socialist and a leftist and he had socialized healthcare. All this is bullshit. All that is a fucking he did. He looked no, through he the history, he gave no, false he and beetle no, to homie. everybody. No, homie, you, you got it wrong, dude. It was the fucking regime prior to his that had socialized health care. And when Hitler took it over, he took it away from the Jews and you had to be pure blood German to be to partake in that. He did not establish socialized health care. He actually limited it and took it away from a bunch of people. It was the fucking so took it away from my people. Took it, away from my people. it was the Weimar Republic that set up the socialized health care that fucking Hitler destroyed and turned into uh, gas chambers. So that's all bullshit lies and tropes, homie. All of that's it. Not bullshit, Hitler, lies, tropes. Was not right. Hitler was a right wing pro capitalist fascist. No, he wasn't. He wasn't even on the right, man. Oh my God, man. See, you're just spewing shit you heard on video. It's not it's a, it's history. History. It's called history channel. Never, never, never before Dinesh D'Souza and Ben Shapiro did any historian in any fucking history book ever label Hitler as anything but pro capitalist and extremely right wing. This is a new thing that you have been uh, fooled. New thing. It wasn't not even a new thing. His actions were very, uh, is, is very socialist. I'm so, not saying every social, I'm not saying every socialist. So, so what did he do? What did Hitler do to help the workers seize the means of production and eliminate? He gave them free full fucking beetles and maybe, and, and, and also not only that, he, gave, he also had child care as well. Yes, well. You didn't listen to my question. At what point did he allow the workers to seize the means of production and take power of the country? At what point did by that happen? Away, uh, by taking away all the banks that the Jews owned? They, he was a socialist. Oh, wow. Taking the banks from Jews is not... They own they owned a lot. They own some... Oh they own God. half the banks in Germany. National, yes, he nationalized the banks and stole it from Jews. A very, very fascist thing to do. That is not... Yes. Socialists want to end capitalism, homie, not steal the banks and run them. They want to end the banks. Hitler, you're not listening to me either, Lothair. I told you, socialism is workers seizing the means of production. There's a term Marx used. It's called dictatorship of the proletariat, which means the dictatorship of everybody equally. Hitler did not instill any type of remotely socialist fucking system. It was fascist, authoritarian, he protected the status quo, and he protected capitalism. He is not a socialist. That is a lie. My, that lie my, actually, my that lie actually that's my, that's first my through, the first people to really start pushing that in America was the John Birch Society in the 1960s when they were trying to tie Martin Luther King to the Communist Party, which was also- No, well, that's completely a whole horse. Right, but that's what the- uh, John Birch Society was pushing, and that's what every single right winger that was anti fucking civil rights movement believed. Oh, well, you mean the Democratic Party? You mean the Democratic Party on the left? It was a communist Jewish mm -hmm. plot that was influencing Martin Luther King, which is the Martin same. Luther, Martin, Martin Luther King was on the right, man. Martin he was he was he was a preacher, and he was on the right because he no he was a. Damn straight leftist preacher, which oh. there is a long, long, you don't know what the fuck you're talking the, the, why about. Why is the KKK yeah. on the, why yeah. are the Democrats, yeah. yeah. my question, why yeah. is the Democratic you know, Party? call MLK a fucking right winger, fool. Check yes, it out. Yes, he was. Same thing well, with MLK. Uh, you, uh, you have uh, no Matt. idea, dude. There Matt, is Matt as well. Shish! There is such a long tradition of leftist black churches in America, civil rights, Black churches in America. That's where Martin Luther came out of. It's the same thing as the militant oh fucking leftist movement. No, I don't know. We need to give it because I was on the both. Of okay. Okay. Why, so why, why is it? Why, why is why is the left have a problem with with, with with the NRA? 
Give me one fucking policy from Martin Luther King that's right wing. Give me one. Give me one. He was a Christian. He was a God, God, a Christian he person. And he was also an individual right. freedom. So I that's that right wing. Communist. Okay? He but was not even communist or even that's, socialist. That's an arbitrary bullshit designation. You need to no, get. No, that's not, that's not cool with it. No, no, you need to get specific. Called I'm, history. Out. I'm serious. I'm almost out of here, dude. Because you need to say something specific policy wise. You're interrupting me when I'm trying to argue. I'm out. Let me finish my question or I'm out, dude. Okay, you I asked you a question. And you've disrespected a whole shit ton of people without knowing. Now, first okay. of all, I asked you to name a specific policy that Martin Luther King advocated for that is traditionally right wing. You said he's a Christian. I know a lot of leftist Christians, man. A you lot didn't give me a chance to talk. Also Christian talk. does not make you right wing. I know it doesn't. Evangelical today individual, does. Individual, individual freedom. Much bullshit. Individual but freedom that he wanted. He wanted civil rights. He wanted freedom. For, uh, he was a constitutionalist. And you're telling me that he wasn't a right. Why is the Democrats are a part of the KKK then? Constitutionalist. He was a civil rights activist and an anti war activist. He was anti Vietnam. There were no Republicans that were anti Vietnam, homie. There were no Republicans that were anti. That was Vietnam. That was that was. I'm not, I'm not saying I support war, man. I'm actually against war, matter of fact, in the first place. So he was a Republican, and he wasn't a conservative. He was a fucking extremist leftist, man. Not uh, quite. He was not even extremist at all. Dude, what what have you read from Martin Luther King? I had a dream, and basically. <laughs> there's a few other things as well. Everybody you know what, man. Have you read the letter from a Birmingham jail? Have yes. you read that? Yes. Did you call him a fucking Republican? Why would you? Well, you know, you know, the thing is, why why is the KKK were the Democratic Party back in the day in the damn South, and why they were working with workers? Because they were the, the, the the after the Civil Rights Bill. Oh, they know oh. they've been that way ever since the not ever ever since the Civil oh, War. They've been the Democratic the Party demographic between the two parties after the Civil Rights Bill, dude. At the time of the Civil War, the Democrats were the fucking disgusting, bigoted, racist, slave-owning pieces of shit. Up to the, the, up the, the 1960s. Up to the and then when Johnson signed the Civil Rights Bill, whatever racists and far-right fucking extremists existed in the Democratic Party fucking mass-exited the, Dem the Democratic Party and fucking consolidated under the Republican Party. And that's when Nixon put in place the Southern strategy to consolidate the South behind the Republican Party. And that's what murdered Martin Luther King, man. You call him a Republican? You call him who his murderers are, homeboy? Well, I highly doubt yeah. that. They, they no, white you, can doubt it all day. you can doubt it all day, dude. But that motherfucker. It wasn't a doubt. It's the truth. That motherfucker that shot him, that motherfucker that shot him was a right winger, dude. You know, he was a white supremacist. That's not even right, right winger. Exactly. No, it wasn't you a right winger. Right oh. on the left. You don't, it doesn't oh. exist on the left, huh? You do not have white supremacy on the left. Period. Oh, you yes. don't you don't it's have it on the left? Oh, uh, well, how about that one guy who was hung up on the, on the gearbook? There's with a white man's uniform. There's unaddressed bigotry on the left, and there's some unaddressed racism on the left, but the right, it's an organizing principle for the right. Oh, I highly doubt is that. a conservative, right wing. Uh, uh, close friends and with you're not, listening, you're not listening to facts and reality, homeboy. You're trying to say reality. I, I know you're talking about nonsense. Man is leftist? What fucking planet do you live on? They are what? leftists. They, 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 oh my God. Right. So that's why Antifa is always fucking uh, organizing against the Klan because that's our buddies. A member of Punks for Progress just did a video on our channel where he helped organize an Antifa action against the fucking Klan and shut their shit down. Why would he do that if the Klan was our homeboys? Because they're leftist fucking chill buddies, man. You know why? You know why? Because racist bigots like that are politically homeless and they're not on the right or left thank you very much where do you get that nonsense from just some bullshit no, 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 no. Just do, like like all these white supremacists neo-nazis they're oh, nationalist yeah. socialists they're nationalist socialists they're not oh, they hate yeah. capitalism they hate people oh, like yeah. me because i'm free market capitalism they're i want mainstream. individual freedom they hate freedom of speech capitalism that's bullshit that's yes bullshit. they are <laughs> dude okay so nazis hate capitalism Yes, they do. That's why they blame the Jews for everything, and they, they they despise they despise they despise companies, and they automatically assume that everybody in the mainstream media is Jewish. Assuming people are Jewish in the mainstream media has nothing to do with capitalism. 
there's still a business. Being a Jew, the media, and the media is a business. You know that, right? They don't like a certain. They don't like a certain group of people that run a business, so that makes them anti-capitalist. I don't see the connection. Yes, it does. That's exactly. They they think they they think everybody. Uh, the think being anti-capitalist would be about ending capitalism, which they don't. They just don't want the Jews to be in charge of it anymore. There's a huge fucking difference. Yeah, but that's ethno nationalism. There's a big difference between okay, whatever. Klan ain't left wing. Never no, they're perfectly homeless. They're not right or left. That's the Ooh, thing is, homeless. they used to homeless. be left back in the 1940s, man. Yes, they're right wingers, man. They're right wingers. They're no, not right wingers. Explain because, to me. Listen, just because you're a Republican or whatever you think you are, doesn't mean that uh, they're not right wing. Also, they're you not. Gotta own it. You got to own it, man. You're on the right. Well, well, they give the Clan is always Owen. The Clan is always the right wing. The Clan hated Martin Luther Martin. King and wanted to kill him. Just talk. Give me a chance to stop. Why? Okay. Why they give death threats to fucking Ben Shapiro? Why they give fucking death threats he's to Kanye? Because he's a Jew. Exactly. They're not on the right. They're politically homeless. Dude, hating Ben Shapiro because he's a Jew doesn't somehow make you a leftist, man. It just makes you an anti-Semite. They're still conservative and they're still right wing. Well, this the thing is, I'm not saying the Klan is on the left. They used to be. Now they're politically homeless. That doesn't mean anything, dude. That's just some term. Yes, you it made. does. No, that's just some bullshit term you made up. It's not. You'll it's never, not find, a, you'll never find that term in a political science book, man. It's, it's not a. It's not a term or a. a They're definition. not on the right. They're not on the left. Nobody yeah, in Congress yeah, man. Yeah, man. supports the plan. Terms have definitions and meanings, dude. They're not just things that you feel or, or your opinion. No, they're not feel because nobody supports. Nobody supports these neo Nazis. Nobody supports nobody these clans. We've the small of <laughs> The Cheeto fucking said there's good people on their side. Oh, I highly doubt that. You highly doubt that? You want me? You I've, seen the, hey, yeah, I've seen the video. I've seen the video. You didn't hear him say there's good people on both sides after Charlottesville. Come on, pull your head out of your ass. You know he said. There's both sides protesting about uh, 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 nah, over the statue. Give me that right there. Nazis went to Charlottesville and beat the shit out of people and murdered one of them. And some anti-fascists showed up and defended that community from that violent fucking mass onslaught. And I completely, I completely, I completely, I'm completely right against wing, the racist. Right wing, I'm completely against the racist. No, they're not right, right wing. wing. But it was the left that was demonstrating against them, and it was a leftist that they murdered. But they're not right wing. They're not right wing. They're though. not right wing or left wing. You know oh, that. Thing. They're homeless. Really homeless crap. Well, now that's a designation that works really nice for you because then you don't have to. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't it nice for you. You clearly don't even know what you're talking about because oh, clearly, I clearly don't know what you're talking And you don't even give me a chance to even speak. Okay. Speak. Okay, I'll give me a speak. Okay. He said clearly that there's. There's both protests, okay? Yes, there was crazy white nationalists that said they were terrible people. Also, he did say that, but also said they were, they were both, there were both sides that were acting bad. You have to realize in the South, there's some people who take the Confederate flag. They don't see it as a racial symbol. Too fucking bad it is. That's a problem. It is. I, I, I definitely agree with you. That's I definitely problem. agree with you. I it definitely is. agree with you. The only people who believe it's not a racist symbol are actually bigots. It's the only people no, who No, they're not bigots. They're not even racist bone in their body. It doesn't mean mm -hmm. that's in the facts. Mm -hmm. There's people who were raised that way. doesn't mean they are. I know I've seen black people fly around with Confederate flags. Yeah, that's fine. I, yeah, I know. Self-hatred exists. No, it's not self-hatred. Oh. It's just people who, who uh, believe yeah, something else. They're just carrying, they're just carrying, they're carrying, dude, they're carrying the flag that represents their, their enslavement. Oh, that's I highly crazy. doubt that. That's what that's well, not, that's not, not that. what they highly you believe, well, what, okay? Really, Lothar, you highly doubt that the Confederate flag is the symbol of the Confederate Army, which uh, turned traitor against the United States of America to defend slavery. You don't think that happened? I'm, 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 I'm against that. I do, so, I, do, I do agree with you. That I, I'm highly against the Confederacy. I'm highly against the Confederacy, but there's you some people. Oh, okay, but you still want to talk a right wing talking point that the Confederate flag. Uh, you're not giving me a chance to talk. You're not giving me a chance to talk. See, you're not giving me a chance to talk. Is that right? You're not giving me a chance to talk. That's kind of bullshit. No, 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 give me a chance to talk. Give me a chance to talk. Okay, then. Some people in the South, and I was raised in the South, and there's people in Georgia. That they take this the symbol of the flag, and I clearly disagree with it because historical facts. I can argue with them blue in the face, saying I don't support the Confederacy because it supports slavery. They believe is not a racial symbol because they think it's a symbol of the South. That's it. 
I can clearly disagree with their viewpoints, and I'd be like, look, I don't agree with it because I don't support the Confederacy, and I think it's a racist symbol. Okay, that's great. And those bigots that say that shit, that's just some bullshit excuse that they how make. You, how you know they're bigots? I fucking talk, homeboy? Yes. That's just some bullshit they make up to cover up the fact that they know deep down inside, straight up, it's about fucking slavery. And they want to latch on to this thing, this mythology that they've created about fucking Southern heritage and all this bullshit when it's not. That shit took hold in the 60s, man. The Confederate flag became super popular and all these fucking statues that all these leftists want to see taken down, all that shit was erected in the 60s in response to the civil rights movement of the left and people like Martin Luther King. And it was racist fucking pricks who erected these statues and reintroduced the fucking Confederate flag as Southern heritage because they wanted to undo any fucking ground that uh, African Americans in this country were making via the civil rights movement. That symbol. And they carted it out as saying, no, 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 it's not pro-slavery. It's our Southern heritage. And you're trying to take it away from us. You're the one oppressing our free speech. And it's no, what you're doing is you're taking a shit on Martin Luther King, a righteous fucking leftist, and just taking a huge shit on the civil rights movement, a fucking vehemently from its core foundation a leftist fucking movement which he was a major leader of um, read any history book um they rose up to fucking destroy that and they did and that's when the whole the south will rise again shit started all that shit is bullshit fucking lies to say it's fucking southern heritage is garbage and anybody who espouses that fucking trope you didn't you're just saying what other people said so i'm not yeah exactly i'm not saying that I'm not accusing you of this, but anyone that I would declare fucking uh, uh, confidently that anybody that talks this shit is, oh, no, that's not what the Confederate flag means is a fucking bigot and a liar, an apologist for slavery, and they're trying to rewrite fucking history. <laughs> Oh,